Very warm welcome to uh, letter D in 545s. Uh, so we're going to start off 1969. This is when I first kind of became aware of reggae, I think. Um, the uh, skinhead, the original skinheads were just about starting then, so I was about 13 or 14. I think everybody uh, who's into reggae now and still is at our age probably got into reggae music at the same time. I still love this record. It reminds me of days at Rill at the fun, fun fair, watch it standing on the, uh, near the waltzer. There was a great soul and reggae playing stuff you could never hear on the radio there. And this is a course Elizabethan reggae. <laughs> Elizabethan reggae, Boris Gard that I've got it down, but I'm sure it was Byron Lee and the Dragonairs who did it. I might be wrong. It seems to be like the two versions sound exactly the same. Right, next one on D. Dynamic record label. Um, 71, I think it was, that uh, Eric Donaldson came out with, with uh, Cherry O' Baby. It's been a massive hit. It was the festival song winner that year. It did uh, spark a few different versions. So the, because it was such an unusual rhythm at the time, um, I've decided to play the B-side of Dennis Al Capone's Ripe Cherry, which is a DJ version. And this is called the Red Cherry. And this is where you can really hear that very unusual rhythm. It's kind of stoppy starty. And as the rhythm goes, if you listen very carefully, it kind of stops. But there's one, little, there's one guy who's just tap, tapping a bongo once in between. It's just an incredible rhythm. Nothing else has been done like it since, I don't think. And uh, let's go back to 1971, the festival song winger. This is the version of the version. It's called Red Cherry. Cherry old baby rhythm. Um, as reggae rhythms go, there's nothing else like it. It's, in, it's it's so different. It's not a steady rhythm. It's a bit choppy and changey. Still a fantastic record. Still love that rhythm. Still love Cherry old baby. Right, what we got? All oh, right, okay. I chose this one because um, it's on the. It's a Jamaican one, uh, and it's called "The Sounds of Honourable Mali." Um, by Errol Scorcher and the Revolutionaries. I bought this in 1981 in Montego Bay somewhere. Um, and we were staying at a place called the Sea Wind Hotel. It's called something else now. Something like the um, Sunset View or something. But at the time, there was a band on there called the Tony De Costa Affair. And Tony De Costa was, uh, I asked him uh, if he was related to Glenn De Costa and he was absolutely 
surprised that I'd heard of Glenn De Costa. Um, and he was apparently his, his cousin, and he had a band called the Glen Costa Affair. Anyway, one night every week they'd have a, a, like a talent contest where you could get up and do something. No, I didn't get up and do anything, but there was one of the waiters used to get up and, and actually do this song. So what you've got to remember is it was just it was less than a year after Bob's death, and uh, I managed. I said, what is that? And he told me what it was, what he was doing. The band were playing along with it. It must have been a hit at the time. Like I say, The Sounds of Honourable Marley by Earl Scorcher. It's got a great horns intro, great rhythm. Let's have a listen. Sonia Pottinger production, 1981. Yeah! 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 Every time I hear him sound I mean my time passed on when he was around I mean my time passed on when he was around I saw him say we're coming in We're coming in Coming in from the cold The first thing me hear you say him sick of their money The next thing me hear you say him die of Miami And if him never die, maybe more than I am in And if him never die, maybe more than I am in Him sing a lot of AP for you and me Him sing a lot of AP for you and me Him sing a lot of AP and a lot of 45 Him sing a lot of AP and a lot of 45 Me say him not take no bribe, no he not be no strife he not take no bribe, now he not be no strike Oh Lord my God, I wish he was alive Oh Lord my God, I wish he was alive There you go on the dancehall record label Errol Scorcher, Sounds of Honourable Bob Marley Right, okay You can't go to D without a record by Duke Reed uh, The one I've chosen For several reasons really I mean, if you think of, for me personally, maybe other people will, will think differently, but when you think of Treasure Island, Duke Reed, I always think, first of all, of the Paragons, and then some great songs by the Melodians, and of course you've got to mention uh, Uroy, and I've chosen a Uroy record here, although if you look on this one, I don't know if you can see it, let's have a look, he's actually called, a little glare there, hang on, no, you can't see it, can you? He's called Hugh Roy on it, anyway. And if you go on uh, YouTube and look for Version Galore Uroy, there's this amazing piece of footage where they've got him actually recording the song. And I'm pretty sure, I've listened to it, I'm pretty sure it's the actual recording they used on the record. If you've never seen it, you're in for a treat. I think most people would have. But I mean, this just blew, me. you know, Uroy, when he came along, just blew everybody out of sight, really. <laughs> Treasure Island Productions were so crisp and clear. And the pressings were pretty good too. Fantastic. I mean, when you think of Jamaica, a, a tiny little island, I think I read somewhere they've spawned over a dozen different kinds of music. You know, you go back to ska, rocksteady, reggae, dub, version, DJ, you know, jungle, dancehall, all that kind of stuff from one tiny little island. Quite amazing, really. Right, the last one. We are going way back in time, I think it's 1966. I'm going to play both sides of this just out of interest because uh, this is Laurel Aiken. The, uh, 
you know, they, a lot of times they do a fast side and a slow side on these early ska records, you know, on the island ones especially. And they were, they were just incredibly sombre, solely sad songs. This one's no exception, and then I'll flip it over. But have a listen to this. It's called uh, You Left Me Standing by Laurel Aitken. You can just imagine playing this at a blues dance late on. Everybody rub up and push up and uh, have a little smooch to this one. <laughs> I remember that night I met you when we said that we would never part, but now you're leaving, taking another, leaving me standing with the road. I absolutely love songs like that, I don't know why. I think I got that one in Cobb Records, I was quite lucky towards the end that Tony and Cobb used to keep anything that looked uh, like reggae-ish. And uh, that was one of them, I think, I can't remember when I got it. And uh, I'm going to finish off now with a bit of ska, I might do my old ska, chair ska dance. So until tomorrow, when we, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to let it E tomorrow, see what I can dig up. Stay well, stay safe. We shall overcome. at the time that I chose and that one is quite apt for these moments we will overcome this one day stay well stay indoors stay safe all the best people bye bye <laughs>